In order to access the CAN configuration menu, you must first enter the controller password. To do so, please watch our Controls Incorporated password entry video. Once you have accessed the configurable menu, press the menu button until you reach CAN configuration. In the CAN configuration menu, you are able to view communication addresses. Continuously press the up arrow button to cycle through the CAN bus information. In this video, you are first able to view the source address of the control panel, which in this case is 44. The source address identifies where the message or information is coming from, which would be the Controls Incorporated Display and Control System. Press the up arrow button to view the torque speed address identifying where torque speed commands are being transmitted from, which would also be the Controls Incorporated Display and Control System. In this video, the torque speed address is 3. Press the up arrow button again to view the engine address of the target ECU, which in this case is 0. The engine address indicates which target ECU information is being sent to from the Controls Incorporated Display and Control System. Each of the CAN bus communication addresses can be changed by pressing the Enter button. Brackets will then appear around the current address selection. You will then be able to cycle through the optional addresses by either pressing the up arrow button or the down arrow button. Once you have reached the desired address selection, press Enter and the brackets will disappear. In this video, the operator chooses to keep the original engine address of the target ECU, which was set to zero. Press the down arrow button to cycle back to the torque speed address. To change the current torque speed address, press the enter button and brackets will appear around the current address selection. You will then be able to cycle through the optional addresses by either pressing the up arrow button or the down arrow button. Once you have reached the desired address selection, press enter and the brackets will disappear. In this video, the operator chooses to keep the original torque speed address, which was set to 3. Press the down arrow button to cycle back to the source address of the control panel. To change the current source address, press the enter button and brackets will appear around the current address selection. You will then be able to cycle through the optional addresses by either pressing the up arrow button or the down arrow button. Once you have reached the desired address selection, Press Enter and the brackets will disappear. In this video, the operator chooses to keep the original source address, which was set to 44. Press the Menu button to return to the CAN configuration menu. Always cycle the key switch off and back on again to retain any menu changes. This will save your configured CAN bus information for engine operation.